I literally just woke up from a sleep study. I've got this stuff still on my face. But I haven't gone and taken a shower yet. You know why? Because for the last few days, we, as a nation, have been dealing with another mass shooting. 21 dead. 19 grade schoolers. Children. It's bad enough that we have to deal with this loss of life. But it just keeps getting worse. And the more it goes on, the more I question why I've spent the last 15 years of my life protecting this nation! This dude had an AR-15! It's an assault rifle! It's accurate on point targets up to 500 meters! It's accurate against area targets up to 800 meters! That is a weapon of war! It is intended to kill people! The children had to be identified by their DNA! Because a weapon meant to kill people at distance was used on them within 20 fucking feet! And yet, so many people are out there thinking it's not okay to infringe on our rights, our rights to own a weapon meant to kill people. God knows all those deer and wild boars are out there shooting back with body armor on. We have to have our assault rifles. It's to protect ourselves. And the fact that it gets worse. All those right-wingers, all those Republicans, all those conservative-minded Representatives of the people. They don't want to politicize this issue. Don't turn guns political. Oh, all those people on the left, as soon as a, a, a shooting happens, they immediately start trying to cash it in for political points because, well, they would just want to push their own agenda. This is political. Show me how many Republican senators and representatives don't take money from the MR NRA. Don't take money for special interest groups that define how they vote, how they control this country. They are professionally bribed. As a U.S. soldier, I can be put under an ethics investigation for merely the appearance of a conflict of interest. I can just look like there was a conflict of interest, and I can be investigated and charged. And yet we have Congress people who are out in the open taking bribes and using the stock market for their own advantage, but that's not a problem? And it keeps getting worse. You want to talk about politicking an issue like this? It didn't take 24 hours before the right-wing media echo machine started posting made-up stories about how the shooter was wanted for murder in Guatemala. About how this 18-year-old kid was a product of Joe Biden's lack borders. But we're not supposed to make guns political. And at the same time, there's another conflicting story going on because somehow both can be true, again, in the conservative echo chamber, that this boy, this kid, this 18-year-old punk was a transgender woman. They used... Instagram photos from an actual transgender woman in Georgia.
posted three months ago. God have mercy on her. Okay? She did not, des she does not deserve any of this. She is just trying to survive in the world, to get herself out there. There's nothing wrong with that. But now, her photo is being used to further demonize this 18-year-old shooter. But it's not. It's not demonizing him. She's getting death threats. Her and other transgender women who just so happen to look like this guy from a certain angle with fuzzies are being hated on even more than they already are. They are being targeted because of this fake, made-up story that started on 4chan. Because that's just perfect. Let's start a made-up story on the dark web so that our people out in the open can grab a hold of it and reverberate it throughout the entirety of conservative media to make it truth. We're going to say it in the shadows, and then we're going to take it out of the shadows and bring it into the light of day, and that must mean it's true. The shooter was transgender. But don't you dare make this political about guns. 2004. Look it up. The assault weapon ban ended on Republican hands in 2004. And mass shootings tripled. Tripled! Don't you dare tell me that banning weapons doesn't decrease mass shootings. And I'm looking at you, Ted Cruz. You sorry piece of garbage. None of the policies that re re Democrats are going to, to recommend, none of them actually help shootings. None of them are going to help. Get your ass to Cancun. It's the only place you're useful. The proof is in the numbers, but you don't want to listen to the facts because they don't fit your narrative. You and others like you, all the Ted Cruz's and the Mitch McConnell's and the Lindsey Graham's. And yes, even the Mitt Romney's, you floppy little pancake. You are the reason we have children murdered on a weekly, daily basis. You spineless cowards like to talk about how you're for the people, you're for the military, you're for America. You are for nothing but your own self-interest. I am for America. My brothers and my sisters and my gender non-conforming allies in the armed forces, we we are for America, and we are not for your America. We're not for the Democrats' America. We are for what America is supposed to be. And your vision of America is a sham. It is shameful. It is an abomination. And it's people like you that make me shed tears that I was ever in Afghanistan. The only thing I did in Afghanistan was protect the men, women, and others to my left and to my right. That's the only thing I accomplished. And I am proud of that. I am proud that I came home and everyone I went with went, came home with me. Far a few who succumbed to their own depression or suffer as a result of the circumstances, the environment that we lived in. 
But when we redeployed, when I came back from Afghanistan, my company, my battalion, we didn't have anyone dead. I'm proud of that. I'm proud that we survived. But that's not because we were fighting for some glorious ideal. It wasn't because we were fighting for America. It's because we were fighting for each other. What America is, what America is supposed to be, is not what America has been over the last 50 years. Every conflict we've ever been involved in, we never should have been involved in. Not since Korea. Korea is the last time we had a semi-honorable conflict. I am so angry with where we are right now. I can barely express it. I can barely shed tears over the shame and abomination that we have seen over the last few weeks. Abortion rights being taken away. Everything being political, other than the real issues that actually need to be addressed. Freedoms. Real freedoms being taken away. Because some super vocal minority of this country think that it should be taken away. I've been working the last 50 years to take them away. And they continue to insist that children in schools have less of a right to live and enjoy life than a fetus does. So, to any and all conservative-minded out there who are going to post on this video and talk about how I'm just a liberal scrub who has no idea what he's talking about, who's just trying to politicize an issue I have no business politicizing. All of you can go to hell. All of you can take your ideas about what is right and what is wrong and shove it right up your ass so far that it comes out your mouth. Because all of you who preach these conservative ideologies are just as prone to spread hate and misinformation and demonize people just for existing the way they want to exist. You politicize people's lives and existence far more than anyone on the left does. And just so we're tracking, I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. I consider myself an independent. I consider myself a man who thinks that decisions need to be made for the best outcome for everyone, as many people as possible. So, take your talking points and shove them. Because I don't care about them. I care about people. I care about my own trans son. I care about the men and women and children who continue to be murdered on a daily basis by weapons that our leaders think should be freely available for any psychopath who's not getting treatment on their watch to pick up and go kill someone with. Out.